Hey guys, what's going on? And today, instead of receiving the fourth image, they've actually released the Season X trailer. Now, it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting one. Uh, the majority of the theories all along about time travel, that they appear that it's going to be right. Um, we're having sort of like a mix of the past and the present and the future. Um, it's all kicking off. So let's have a little look at the trailer. I'm just going to pause it at certain points so that you can like, review things. So yeah, the zero point explodes and Jonesy sort of hurled through the space time continuum, I'm guessing this is supposed to be. Now, there's the rocket, which has a visitor. The Taka Sanji's back, which I'm assuming that means that the Taka Sanji might be going back for a second. But, hang on. The boat here, that sailing boat, that's not Blackheart sailing on, on the front of that boat. That's DJ Yonder, but in a different colour. And Tomato Temple's in the background as well. You've got the volcanic rocks falling down. So that's sort of like a mixture of seasons 8, 7 and 6. Now, there's more. Right, we have the season six trailer there, because there's Kevin and there's a bit of in the queue. So that's season six. And we have all the snowy areas, so season seven for Christmas. And we have the rifts for season five, Diabelle for season five. Rocky Landing. Peely, I love this reference here. And then he falls down to the ground. But this is the interesting bit that we need to focus on. Now, in the behind him, you can see Dusty. You can also see an X upon that hill. Now, I don't know if that necessarily means anything. We can see the factories that used to be at Dusty Depot. So not only is Dusty Depot coming back, so the factories. But we can also see the Lava Flow and Lazy Lagoon. So... That's still parts of the new map, mixed with the old original map. Now, that proves that we're not going back to the Season 1 map. We've got a mix of all the maps, but fat Factories are coming back. I think that's going to please a lot of people. So we land on the ground, but the meteor's there. Now, that's the interesting part. The meteor never hits, so Dusty Depot remains. However, you look at this, you can see a lot of things. You can see a Durberger van. You can see a baller. You can see a present, a llama. I'm pretty sure that that's a TAC AR. So you've got things from all the different seasons there. But that meteor hasn't fallen. It's just held in place. So time seems to have frozen. Now, the interesting thing with this is what's inside the meteor, it's the visitor. Now, we've also seen the rocket. And what's inside the rocket? The visitor. So, season 10 is going to be a mixture of everything. I think all storylines have led into this, merging into this one point. And, um, so yeah, two visitors. So that the fact there's two visitors, that could be meaning... That one visitor is trying to go back home, the other's doing something else. But an important thing to note is that when the visitor left in his rocket, one of the things he said was um, about a zero point oscillator. Now, oscillators are involved with electrical current. Now, zero point is the orb that contains the energy that could have sent the visitor back home. Um, now, I don't, I don't know what to think of that, because the visitor wanted the energy of the zero point to get home. However, when the visitor tried to go home, there was no cube, so there was no zero point. So how did he know about zero point? How was he going to use the energy to get back home? So maybe the rocket launch, the season four live event, 
um, at that point, maybe they'd already planned as far as season 10 because it's all tying in together now. 0, 0.0, 0 point oscillator, the visitor, Dusty Depot, the meteor. It's all one storyline that seems that, well, it's fragmented storylines that are coming together as one. And that's the beauty of this season 10. This season 10 is going to be big. It's going to bring people back back to this game it's going to put Fortnite back on top and honestly they're doing it in one of the best ways they could have possibly done it and then Fortnite season x out of time play august 1st so i thought it was going to be called times up i've been saying times up since sort of like this time last week um times up wasn't far off out of time very 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 close but, um, so yeah, looks like we're all going to be able to play um, a mix of the old and new maps tomorrow with all sorts of stuff kicking off. Um, the version 10.00 update will be releasing, so a load of stuff will be coming. So expect all coverage of that as soon as I get a chance tomorrow, so roughly around this time. Um, but for now, let's jump into some gameplay. So yeah guys, me and Toby were just going to jump into a casual duos to end the season. It ends around this time tomorrow morning, honestly. I don't know how we were at season 10 already, like, it really doesn't seem like that long ago that we were in seasons 3 and 4, but... Yeah, here we are, going into season X, um... Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Really, really is going to be. Now, all those people that left the game about two, three seasons ago saying it died, this could well bring them back because I know that one of the main things people wanted was Dusty Depot back and the factories. Well, you're getting what you wanted, guys. Um, it's going to be a shame that Dusty Diner's gone. I like Dusty Diner. In fact, I'd say I liked Dusty Diner more than I liked Dusty Depot. Because Dusty Depot did not have a lot of loot. So, with that in mind, I think me and Toby should probably drop at Dusty Diner. Just to pay some respects to it. So yeah guys, take a good look at this map because it's going to be the last time you're going to see this one in game. One thing I'm intrigued about is, is the skeleton going to remain there for the next season? And like Singularity Sword and stuff. Will Tilted remain? Will Magnum remain? No one knows. All we know. Well, that's a good question actually, Toby. Will Old Tilted return? Tilted Towers? You know, I don't think they will return to the towers. Some old tilted towers with a slipstream around it. That could work. But I don't know if they would or not. I really, like, nobody can tell what Epic has in store for us. This is one of the most highly anticipated seasons that Fortnite have ever released. The third place is over. But like I say, though, this is, in my opinion, this has got to be one of the most highly anticipated Fortnite seasons. Toby, what healables are you carrying?
because there's that big shield because I have need. Just lose this all together. Oh, infantry rifle. Totally good there. This is not good. Okay, now they're trying to snipe at me. Okay. I panicked. I severely panicked right now. That was not a good way to handle it. Should not have used that shadow bomb, guys. I'm going to try shooting. I don't know why I use the channel point to be honest.
So yeah, season 10 is going to be a fun season, I'm not going to lie at all. Um, I am excited for it, I must admit. Came here to uh, pay respects to say goodbye to it. How are these guys doing? Why on earth was your team like no guns just sat here? And also, how the hell did he like, not take any damage when he fell from that tree? I'm still questioning that team, what the... They weren't even AFK, they were playing. They were playing the game, so why didn't they play it? Well...
way. You are kidding me. What? Hold on, guys. Watch this. Where the hell did he come from? How did he deal so much damage in a single shot? Yeah. Yeah, well, guys. That was a decent game towards the end of Season 9. So, like I say, just get in your last bits of Season 9, say goodbye to the map tonight, please. Tomorrow is really not the next time, especially for those of you watching in like Britain, considering the season ends at 9am. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all tomorrow in Fortnite Season X. Goodbye.